this has been created consistent with President Ann Milner's initiative to have the university be a driver of economic development in northern Utah, which naturally lends itself to aviation and aerospace support. And Mayor uh, Matthew Godfrey knew of our efforts in this lab, and uh, a conversation one day has led to this. So we've already been approached by other uh, police departments who would like to uh, to get these as well. At least with respect to Ogden City, these. The, the blimps they are buying will be purchased directly from the university and they'll be manufactured by my staff. I'm grateful that uh, President Milner has allowed us to have this laboratory here and, and conduct this. We're, we're much like a, a small business that's wholly owned by the university and we're allowed to operate uh, with, with a great deal of latitude to that end. This guy, which in contrast to normal helicopters that have one big main rotor mm -hmm. uh, disc, this has four small rotor discs. And it's small and lightweight. This is not a mock-up, by the way. This is that a, would be the size. This is a fully functioning helicopter. You're, 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 you can see it doesn't weigh much. No. About four pounds is all fully loaded. This helicopter has been wow. designed for close-in uh, support for military troops in an mm -hmm. urban setting. So house-to-house uh, -house fighting. It has cameras on board, both day and night vision. You can peer over a fence, peer behind a building, get up and look and see who's on the roof of a building, for example, sending that video stream back down to a ruggedized little tablet computer that our soldiers have, and it just basically gives them a pair of eyes in the sky. The city of Ogden already has 170 cameras placed on light poles and buildings around the city, and each of those feeds into a control, the video from that camera feeds into a control center. They'd like to supplement those ground-based cameras with an airborne Camera. We've uh, been interviewed um, by four TV stations and uh, four newspapers now. So, yeah, it's been pretty busy here for a few days. It has been exciting, and I think that we always welcome good publicity here at the university in general, and our lab in particular, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can showcase uh, the work we're doing to support aviation and aerospace here in Utah. We're wholly owned by the university, and uh, I report uh, to our provost, Dr. Michael Vaughn, and okay. so we work very closely with the leadership of this university uh, on R&D, applied R&D projects. We're not an academic department. Mm -hmm. uh, our lab is, is comprised primarily of professional level engineers and scientists who, who conduct this work. The bulk of our budget, the operating budget, comes from the revenues we charge our clients whom we conduct work for. I'm actually going to flip it around. Easier to orient myself. Jim in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was perfect. Take it over here.